I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Head on over to Dollar Tree and grab some of these supplies for easy and fun DIY outdoor Halloween decor on a budget. For this project, you're going to need a rectangle and a circle tablecloth from Dollar Tree, some solar lights, and a tomato cage. Grab some gaff tape and tip your tomato cage upside down and tape all of the prongs together. Place one end of your solar lights on top and then wind the lights around and around the tomato cage from top to bottom. Take your rectangle tablecloth and wrap it around the tomato cage. Cut off the excess and tape it on the back to hold it in place. Open up your circle tablecloth and roll it up so it's in a cone shape. Trim off the excess tablecloth that you don't need. Lay the circle tablecloth down onto the ground. Place your wrapped tomato cage on top of the circle tablecloth. Stake the solar panel into the ground so it gets lots of sunlight. Your giant witch hat is complete and it looks good in the daytime and as the sun sets, the lights will turn on and it looks just as good at night. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now let's move on to the next project. For this project, you're gonna need a hula hoop, a binder ring, and some twine. Place the binder ring in the center of the hula hoop. Wrap some twine around the binder clip and then wrap it out and around the hula hoop. Next, move to the opposite side and do the same thing. Repeat this process several times until you get the number you'd like to have. Tie a knot of twine onto one of the other strands. Weave the twine around, in and out, all the way around in a circle, and then cut and tie off the other side. Repeat this process several more times until your entire hoop is filled. You now have a giant spider web. Take it out and spray paint the entire thing any color you wish. I'm painting mine black. Wait for the giant spider web to dry completely. You can place this inside like on your mantle or in a window, or you can hang it outside. You can see it easily during the daytime, but you can also see it at night when the light shines through it. For this project, you'll need burner covers, ribbon, vine, and two signs. Place your burner covers upside down and spray paint them orange. While the burner pans are drying, hot glue your two signs together. Once the burner pans are dry, place them onto the backs of the signs and hot glue them into place. Wrap the leafy vines and garland around the burner pans and the sign. Take some green ribbon, cut it off, make a bow, and hot glue it above each of the burner pans. Cut out a jack-o'-lantern face and place it onto the burner pans. Glue the face into place. Your jack-o'-lantern topiary is ready, and you can place this on your front porch or anywhere in your yard that you'd like. Want to get notified of future videos? Look for the link in the description. For this project, you're going to need some water bottles or cups and some tin foil. I like to cover my surface with wax paper. Place the cups and water bottles onto the wax paper. Next, make a tin foil ball, and this will go on the top of each of these items. Take a second piece of tin foil and wrap it around the entire thing to hold it in place. Repeat this process to each of them. I'll also be using reusable wipes and a dish towel from Dollar Tree. I want mine to be able to go outside, so I'm using Outdoor Mod Podge. Place the Mod Podge in a bowl or a bucket. Take your cloth and place it into the bucket and make sure it gets good and wet. Squeeze out the excess. I'm placing the reusable wipe on the small one and I'm using the dish towel, which I cut in half, on the tall one. And I'll repeat this process for each of these sculptures that I'm making. Here are all of my little ghost sculptures, and I'm going to let them dry completely before moving on to the next step. While they're drying, I'm going to cut out some felt eyes for each one. Now that they're dry, I'm going to remove everything from the inside. This can be a bit tricky, so be patient. Place the felt eyes on each one and then hot glue them into place. Now let's have a little fun. Grab some food coloring and some rubbing alcohol. Place rubbing alcohol into the bowls, as many as colors you want to use, and then add the food coloring. Mix the colors together. Place the food coloring mixture into a spray bottle and then spray the bottoms of the ghosts. If you want more color, add the food drops directly to the sprayed cloth. Repeat this with each of the ghosts using different colors. Let them dry completely. Leave them plain or give them some added color. The choice is really yours. You can place them inside your home, like on your mantle or your kitchen table, 
or you can place them outside on a railing. I'm placing mine outside because they're coated in outdoor Mod Podge and I'm placing them over a batch of solar lights. So you can see them by day, but they'll also glow at night, which I think will be fantastic for the trick-or-treaters as they approach the house. I think you could set these over solar stakes and light up your walkway as well. Now let's move on to some additional DIYs. For this project, you're gonna need a broom handle, a pool noodle, a pumpkin pail, a bow, and some lights. Pound the broom handle into the ground. Wrap the pool noodle with some black gaffer's tape. Slide the pool noodle onto the broom handle. Add some hot glue to the top and place your pumpkin pail onto the hot glue. Place your lights into the bucket and wind them around the pool noodle. Hot glue on a bow and hot glue on the witch hat. You can see it by day and you can see it glow in the evening. Make several of these to light up your pathway on Halloween. For this project, you're going to need some round tablecloths from Dollar Tree, pumpkin pails, solar lights, and tomato cages. Place your tomato cage upside down and place your pumpkin pail on the top of the prongs holding them together. Wind the whole thing with some solar lights and place your tablecloths over the top. Cut out some eye shapes from some gaffer's tape and place them onto the ghosts. You can make several of these and they will light up your pathway to your door during the day and they will glow in the evenings. For this project, you're going to need a variety of tablecloths, some large eyes, and some gaff tape. Start by cutting the tablecloths into several strips. Tape the strip partway down and wrap it around the entire column. Grab your black tablecloth and cut a little strip with some zigzags. Wrap it around your column and tape it in the back. Place some tape on the back of the giant eyeballs and place them onto your column. Grab a marker and draw on some stitches and a mouth and a nose. Your Frankenstein is ready. Now let's move on to the mummy. Just like with the Frankenstein, tape the back and then wind the white tablecloth around the whole column. Add some tape to the back of the eyes and stick them on the column. I added a little crayon texture so that you could see the mummy wrap a little better. Now I have a column of a Frankenstein and a mummy to greet the trick-or-treaters. For my Halloween archway, I started by staking six broom handles into the ground. I spray painted a bunch of pool noodles black and then I taped them together. I spray painted the noodles with stone spray paint. Then I slid the pool noodles onto some PEX pipe and then hooked them onto the broom handles, creating an arch. I wrapped each of the arches with some solar string lights. I added a bunch of cobwebs to the archway. The archway can greet guests during the day and as it gets dark, it'll light up and glow. For this project, you'll need a foam head some tool and fishing line. Start by taping the fishing line to the top of the foam head. Thread the fishing line through the tool and tie a knot. We'll be hanging it in a second. Next, you're going to need a round tablecloth, an LED light, and a pumpkin bucket. Place the light in the bucket, remove the handle from the bucket, and place the tablecloth over the top. Make some holes and put the handle back in. For this one, you're going to need a dish towel and a plastic skeleton. Cut a hole in the center of the dish towel and thread the elastic of the skeleton through the hole. For this one, you're going to need a terrarium, a tea light, and a dish towel. Place a tea light into the terrarium and cut a hole in the center of the dish towel. Pull the loop through the dish towel and add some fishing line to hang it. Now you can hang all three of these ghosts up outside. You can see them by day and They'll glow in the evening. For this project, you're going to need some poster board in a variety of colors. Measure out the poster board and then cut it into strips. Hot glue the strips together in one long line. Add some ribbon to the top and the bottom and then add a book title to the center. Repeat this process to the different color of poster board. Hang them up on your door as a fun way to greet guests. For this project, you're going to need a tomato cage, some trash bags, and a pumpkin bucket. Place the tomato cage upside down and place the pumpkin bucket on top of the prongs. Pull a garbage bag over the top of the whole thing, center it up, and tie a ribbon right underneath the pumpkin bucket. Wrap some tool around a second pumpkin bucket, and then hot glue that bucket on top of the first bucket inside the garbage bag. Place an LED light into the pumpkin bucket, and then hot glue a witch hat onto the top. Cut some strips of trash bag, hot glue them on to make arms on your witch. One option is to have them join hands like this around a cauldron. Another option would be to line them up along your walkway so that you can see them by day or they can glow and light up your evening walk for trick-or-treaters 
at night. For this Halloween DIY, you're gonna need two dollar store trash cans and a mini skeleton. Tie the skeleton into an upside down trash can. Place the two trash cans together so that the skeleton fits inside like it's in a cage. Use some pipe cleaners or zip ties to attach the two trash cans together. I attached an old flower basket chain to the top so I could hang it. Here are three versions of the same concept, the skeleton, a mermaid skeleton, and then a large size skeleton inside two larger laundry baskets. Hang them up outside to greet your trick-or-treaters on Halloween. Want 21 sensible home hacks to make you a smarter homeowner? Look in the description below for details. And I hope this inspires you to create some outdoor Halloween decor of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chatscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.